I've tried many times to keep one notebook for everything with dividers and sections, but it just wasn't working for me. While I loved having everything in one place, it got unorganized really fast. I would run out of space in one section and have to start a new notebook. So I've split up my notebooks into different categories, each with a different purpose. This may not apply to everyone, but I'm hoping in showing you my notebooks that it will spark some ideas for your own system. Hey guys, so if you haven't met me yet, my name is Winda. Um, I'm the blogger behind Windaful.com. Um, I make free printables and I provide productivity tips for the creative planner. So be sure to check out my blog. So I used to always be a multi-planner user, but it left me scatterbrained and it made a lot of appointments and events fall through the cracks. So this is why now I only use one planner and the planner I use is called Artful Agenda and it houses all of my calendar events and schedules. You can create multiple calendars and color code it. So it's perfect. I can see everything at a glance on my phone and it's always with me and it has reminders. So it's the perfect planner for me. And also the other planner that I do use, but not for the calendar section, I only use the daily section for the to-do list, is my Simplified Planner. So I use the Simplified Planner and the Artful Agenda just to keep me from getting distracted while on my phone. So each of my notebooks and binders have a different purpose. They can either have reference information, notes, um, or they help me break down projects, um, as I'll explain in the video. So. This may seem like a lot, but I love having multiple notebooks because they all serve a different purpose and they really help me to just keep things organized, you know, like this is for this, this is for that, and if I need to find something, it's easy to find because I have labels for each of the notebooks and binders, so I can easily just grab that notebook or binder and get the information that I need there. Some of these notebooks and um, binders do look like planners, but they really aren't because they don't have a calendar or schedule. I just want to clear that up. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick overview of all of my binders and notebooks. So first I have this brain dump notebook. And this is just a blank uh, notebook that you can get from Target or anywhere. And then I have a Happy Planner Notes which is for goals and reviews. I have a Jane's Agenda notebook for my notes and content planning. Um, I have a Staples Arc Planner for my overall plan and tracking. I have a Staples Better Binder. Um, I have my home, home management binder for the house and family stuff. Um, I have a records and documents binder. And then last but not least, I have a warranties, manuals, and receipts binder. All right, so we're gonna get right into all of these notebooks and binders that help keep my life sane and organized. All right guys, so these, I'm gonna go through the notebooks first and I'll do the binders after. So these are the four notebooks I use to organize my brain. Let's start with the brain dump. So my brain dump notebook is just for brain dumping. So I use this on a weekly basis uh, or just whenever I feel like I have too much on my mind I'm, and I'm overwhelmed. And this, so this is the planner that I use to just empty my brain. So let me see. So this was um, in July. So I have a brain dumping task ideas list right here. And then I kind of, I always categorize my brain dump. So I have home, family and friends to contact, appointments and events, blog content and broad projects. And then um, I just like to do that. That's what I use that for. And I kind of just uh, brainstorm ideas in here. And I also like to uh, mind map in here. So that's what this notebook is for. I got this from Target. It was on clearance for really, really cheap. And yeah, so that's, you could just use any notebooks. Uh, TJ Maxx has amazing, cute notebooks for really cheap as well. So just a regular brain, um, regular notebook for emptying your mind. And then next I have a goals and reviews notebook. This is the Happy Notes Planner. I love that it's like a rainbow. So it kind of really looks like a, like perfect for achieving your dreams and goals. So I have the sections sectioned off as goals and then my weekly reviews. 
So then um, each quarter I would just uh, write down my goals and then I'll have like three goals for the quarter and then I'll write like the steps it takes to complete that goal. So I have, and then I also have like my life goals and then my master list of things I want to accomplish. And then I have, a, so I have a personal master list and a work master list. And then, you know, so I just do that for every quarter. And then I have my weekly reviews. So this is the template I follow. It's just, you know, how successful were you this week? What prevented you from reaching your goals? And how can you overcome these obstacles? And then, and then uh, sometimes I would just write about, you know, what I got done that week. I don't really do the reviews as often as I should, but yeah, that's what that's for, just to keep me on track. And then my James Agenda notebook is for notes and my content planning. So I used to have this notebook and it was so messy because I would write everything in it and um, I couldn't remove the pages at all because uh, it was like a bound notebook, just like my brain dumping notebook. So I invested in this uh, Jane's Agenda notebook because the the pages are like super duper smooth and it makes it a lot easier to write. So for this I use it like when I'm reading a blog post and I see really good inspirational ideas I would write them in here or if I'm uh, taking an online course I would write my notes in here. And then this is also where I break down my um, ideas for blog posts and stuff. So, you know, for example, this is how to build a routine. And then I have seven ways to start taking action now. So I just like break down my blog post into like an outline form, like a draft. And then uh, when it's done, I just put a check mark by it. So that's what this notebook is for. Yeah, I love this notebook because uh, the pages are so smooth to write on and it just makes writing a lot of notes easy. So that's my notes and content plan. So I use this for my blog and also for YouTube as well. And then last of my notebooks is just my overall plan and tracker. So I use the Make It Happen Planner system for this. Um, I mainly, I don't use the goals because I have the goals right there, but I mainly use this for like the quarterly action planner. Um, I'm still kind of working on this. Um, I'm making a new workbook that I think would kind of combine my goals and review and this notebook so that I can pare it down to just three notebooks. This is mainly for breaking down my projects and such. So for example, this is this quarter, um, quarter four is coming up. So this is for October, October, November, and December. I have my quarterly theme word and my big 90 day goal. And then I just break down my projects into the timeline so I can know what to work on when. And then I have like a, the weekly task list of things I have to do for each week. And then I have my projects in here that I'm working on and it just really helps to just like break down my projects. So that's what this is for, just like my project planning and breaking down like my big goals. All right, so that's it for the notebooks. And now I'm just gonna show you guys my binders. So this is my home management binder. I really like the uh, Staples Better binders. So these are the Moritz Fine Designs uh, Life Binder Printables. Um, it came with like all of these, uh, all of these tabs and everything. So it's really perfect. Um, I can't really show you guys everything because it has a lot of personal information, but just the sections are family, home, finance, medical, events, travel, and then miscellaneous. Um, so for like family, it would just have like my kids names and stuff, information, school, and then it has like their sizes, clothing size tracker. It has a child height tracker, and I also just track their weights as well. School information, and then it has, um, I found this on her website. It was just a chore charts for kids, so like by age. And then in the home section, we have utilities and services. Um, personal insurance and then a uh, home update tracker, project budget, uh, car repair. So auto repair records for both of our cars. And then 
I have the Clean Mama Homekeeping and Cleaning Kit in here. So it's just all the checklists for cleaning, everyday cleaning, and then the cleaning routines. Um, I still need to put these in there as well. So it has a cleaning routine calendar. So this really just helps me, like, for, for me to reference into this binder whenever I need to make a new routine for cleaning and stuff. So I like having to see, like, what I should be doing weekly, what should I be doing monthly, and then... So yeah, that's just a bunch of cleaning routines in this section. And then we have finances. So this is just like our bank info information, um, income, bills, etc. And then we have the medical section. So it's just doctor visits. Um, I like writing their prescriptions on here as well. And uh, so events, we have birthdays. So this is just a list of all the birthdays. And then there's also date night ideas, party planning, family visit checklist, and then travel. We have a vacation record, um, a packing list for the beach, and then some miscellaneous uh, that I don't really put my passwords on here. So, but yeah, that's everything that's in this uh, home management binder. And then I also have a records and document binder. So I'm not going to open it because it has all of our birth certificates and social security cards and everything. But I sectioned it off by person. So I have uh, my kids, Jax, Pierce, Sophia. And then I have um, our marriage certificate and then my husband and my documents. So this is perfect because I put our immunization records in here, birth certificates, um, certificates and everything that's like really important that we need to refer to often so every time I need a, a document copied or anything I could just grab this binder and grab whoever's uh, documents I need so it's really easy I'm just sitting on my shelf and it's really easy to get to and then the last binder I have are for warranties manuals and receipts so this, I use these clear pocket um, folders, and then I use the Avery tabs right here, and I just uh, put my label maker, and I just uh, use this for all of my big purchase items, um, if I have warranties or anything. So we have the TV, the Nintendo Switch, and Google Home. Um, and I keep uh, some screws in here as well. This is like for our bed, the instructions, the manual. And then I have my Instax camera. Um, I don't know what this is for. Then I have my label maker, the Xbox, uh, our phone, the Canon camera manual, and the Juvi manual for the stroller so yeah so this is just you know good to refer to whenever we need to you know find the instructions or like a warranty that we need to get fixed for one of our uh, big ticket items so that's just where I keep the warranties manuals and receipts okay so all my notebooks I put that I use often, I just put into this mag wooden magazine file rack and it sits right on my desk. So I just put all of my notebooks in there and whenever I need a brain dump, I just grab my brain dump notebook or whenever I wanna write notes, I just grab my notes. I know exactly which notebook to grab and it's just sitting right on my desk right here. And then as for my binders, the you know warranties, records, and home management, if I need to refer to something, I could just grab it on my shelf. So yeah, so that is my complete notebooks and binders system that helps keep my life sane and organized. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching.